Hey friends, today we're gonna read one of my favorite stories of Elmer the Elephant. This one is called Elmer and the Lost Teddy. The sky was already dark and full of stars when Elmer the Patchwork Elephant heard the sound of crying. It was Baby Elephant. He can't sleep, said Baby Elephant's mother. He wants his teddy. We took Teddy with us on a picnic and somewhere we lost it. I want you to think about if you've ever lost something that was important to you. Never mind, said Elmer, I'll lend him my teddy. Tomorrow we'll look for the lost one. Elmer went away and came back with his teddy. Baby elephant smiled and was soon fast asleep with Elmer's teddy beside him. You see Elmer's teddy? He looks like Elmer, doesn't he? The next day, Elmer set off in search of the lost teddy. He hadn't gone far when he met his cousin Wilbur. Hello, Wilbur, said Elmer. I'm looking for baby elephant's lost teddy. Have you seen it? No, said Wilbur, but if I find it, I'll call you. A little later, a voice said, hello, Elmer. Where are you going? It was Lion. Baby elephant has lost his teddy and I'm looking for it, said Elmer. Oh dear, said Lion. Baby Lion would be very upset if he lost his teddy. If I find it, I'll call you. Maybe Tiger has seen it. As he came near Tiger's place, Elmer called out, Yoo-hoo, Tiger. Shh, Elmer, Tiger quietly called back. The twins are asleep. Oh, I'm sorry, said Elmer. Only baby elephant has lost his teddy. Have you seen it? Oh, that's serious, said Tiger. The twins wouldn't sleep without their teddies. If I find it, I'll call you. After that, Elmer visited all of the other animals. All the young ones had their teddies, even Crocodile. But none of them had seen baby elephant's teddy. They all said the same thing. If we find it, we'll call you. It was getting late into the afternoon and Teddy was still lost. I hope I find him soon, thought Elmer. It's nearly nighttime. It was at that moment that he heard a shout, help, help, and then again, help, I am lost. Who do you think that might be, friends? Elmer pushed through some bushes and there was a teddy bear. The voice came from the teddy. Please help me, he said. I'm lost, I want baby elephant. You can talk, said Elmer in surprise. Please take me home, said Teddy. I can't sleep without baby elephant. So it seems like Teddy feels the same way about baby elephant. Elmer still stared. Your mouth isn't moving, he said. Just then Wilbur appeared from the bushes. Wilbur, laughed Elmer. I might have known it was you making Teddy speak. So was it really Teddy talking that time? Wilbur chuckled. I'd said I'd call you if I found Teddy, he said, and I did. Come on, let's take Teddy home to Baby Elephant. It's getting dark. So they set off all three together, singing as they went. Baby Elephant was so excited to see his teddy again and quickly gave back Elmer's teddy. Baby Elephant's mother couldn't thank Elmer and Wilbur enough. Elmer, said Wilbur, weren't you worried that Baby Elephant would want to keep your teddy? Your teddy is very different, it's special. But Wilbur, didn't you know, said Elmer in surprise, you don't have to be different to be special. All teddies are special, especially your own. And that's the end of Elmer's story about the lost teddy. So now friends, I want you to go and try to write your own story about a time that you've lost something. In my example, I wrote a story about Henry losing his favorite lovey. You don't have to write about a lovey. It can be anything um, and try to post on Seesaw. Have fun.